All right, I welcome you to another video on this channel. And uh, anyone that knows me knows I love podcasts. I love it so much. I decided to create my own podcast. And uh, there's a specific kind of podcast I really enjoy that I call um, interview podcasts. And um, I've always been fascinated by human stories. And I think a good interview really helps you bring out... Um, the ups and downs of every human story and all of us are going to go through our own share of ups and downs. So I'm going to talk about the five podcasts I think I listen to the most often. And um, I've probably listened to at least 30 to 40 episodes in each of these podcasts. Um, and I'll tell you one or two reasons why I really like them. So the first podcast I want to talk about is How I Built This by Guy Raz. Um, it's an NPR podcast uh, that's the national public radio in the U.S. And uh, the reason I like this podcast is it's basically the story of entrepreneurship um, and entrepreneurs and how they built their iconic brands. Um, the design of this podcast is very low key, but... Guy Raz is the real star of this podcast. Um, I think the way he um, interviews people that come on this show um, is, is amazing because let me show you how they describe the podcast. It's a podcast about innovators, entrepreneurs, idealists, and their stories about the movements they built. Um, you know, some of the biggest entrepreneurs, um, the companies like Airbnb, um, um, food, food entrepreneurs, you know, it's not just focused on one kind of product. Um, Guy Raz tries to understand how the entrepreneur identified a problem and then goes into the story of how they went about solving that problem. And in the process, it became a company, but most of these entrepreneurs were eventually looking at uh, solving a personal problem that they noticed in their environment. Um, if you want to learn about business, I think this is one of the best podcasts that I have ever learned. And I think it was like my personal MBA. So how I built this by Guy Raz. The next podcast I'd like to talk about is The Seen and Unseen by Amit Varma, who I have met uh, once or twice. And I think um, this is a long form podcast from India. And I think Amit Varma is really one of the big pioneers in, in this particular like genre. Um, some of his episodes go on for three to four hours. Um, the name of the podcast comes from an essay by Frederick Bastiat. Um, And uh, in the essay, Bastiat says that to evaluate the consequences of any action, we need to look at both its seen and unseen effects. Um, he's got some amazing podcasts. You know, there's interviews with Ram Guha, Manu Pillai, Harsha Bogle, Shashi Tharoor, Matt Ridley, Steven Pinker. Um, I mean, the breadth and depth of these conversations is just something... Um, I am so intrigued by, um, like, we can talk about our work for hours and hours. And I don't think a lot of audio productions have really tapped into that um, side of um, human conversation the way this show has. There are over 200 to 300 episodes. And I honestly think this is one of India's best podcasts um, and it's a labor of love, um, Amit Varma. Um, he's been a journalist um, and a blogger for a very long time, but I think this is the legacy he will leave behind. Um, and these are some of the episodes um, that I really enjoyed myself as well, especially the ones with uh, Harsha Bogle, Tyler Coven, uh, TM Krishna, um, Srinath Raghavan, um, all highly recommended. The next podcast is um, by an actor, Dax Shepard, who is on this show called Parenthood, and he's done a couple of other films. But I think, I mean, they describe the podcast. It's a podcast that celebrates the messiness of being human. And I completely agree with this. So Dax interviews 
you know, authors, writers, actors. Um, he interviews his mom one time. He interviews uh, other artists. And uh, I think what's unique about this show is Dax Shepard and Monica Padman um, and their interview style. You know, the way they engage with their guests, it's very personal. It's like you're talking to a friend. And that really gets the guests to want to open up and share stories about their life, about um, things they may have experienced as an actor, um, about how they prepared for a character, about how they started writing a book, about how they got the idea for that book, um, about some personal challenges they went through. So I think he's one of the po- those podcasters that really gets you to open up. And uh, that's why I really enjoy um, his interviewing style. And it's very simple and straightforward. As you can see, it's just a picture of uh, the individual they interview and their initials. So really nice podcast. And I, I really, really like this podcast by Dax Shepard. Um, and it's an American podcast, but you have interviews from all over the world on this podcast. Um, the next one is um, Beer Biceps by um, by Ranveer Alabadia. And uh, I really enjoy this podcast because I think Ranveer is a really good interviewer. And he's got, he's worked really hard on getting a wide variety of guests, you know, and he's also really young, but it's also very inspiring how he's gone about building his YouTube career. Um, And he's someone that really inspires me um, as a creator, um, just for how he has um, elevated the kinds of conversations you can have on a platform like YouTube. So he started as a health and fitness you know, vlogger or blogger, and eventually started doing interviews with uh, and with different individuals from different backgrounds. And uh, you know, you have videos about uh, politics, history, uh, business, um, and a wide variety of subjects. So um, I really enjoy um, the way he conducts his interviews. I think. Uh, he has a unique perspective on, you know, different topics and thematically, I think uh, he does uh, present um, a lot of unique insights that I think you can really learn from, especially from the Indian context. So that's Beer Biceps by Ranveer Alabadia. And the final one, uh, the final interview podcast I'd like to talk about is this podcast by Stephen Bartlett called The Diary of a CEO. Again, an interview podcast, uh, but it's based in the UK. So a lot of guests, you know, are based in the UK, but uh, he's interviewed um, people from a variety of different fields. Um, I think it's called The Diary of a CEO because I started as a business podcast, but then... um, And, uh, you know, like in a diary, you often don't talk about things that you would uh, maybe share with everyone else so um it's personal but it's also um interesting to see how people have achieved what they've achieved but also you know people talking about a lot of the challenges they faced and how they overcame it is one of the highlights of this some episodes by um alain de botton um um, arthur brooks uh, were the ones i really enjoyed in this podcast so yeah, these are my five podcasts, How I Built This, Seen and Unseen, Armchair Expert by Armchair Expert, Beer Biceps, and The Diary of a CEO.